Hi everybody and welcome. As you can see, we're back in the Everyday Counts space. My name's Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program here in North Vancouver. So we have an hour together for yoga. Today's practice is just to allow you to tune in to what it is that you need. But as always, allowing this to be your practice so if something I'm guiding you into doesn't feel right for you, then trust that. Choose another movement that does work for you or focus on your breath and meet us when a movement is more accessible to you. So finding a seat will come into some breath work to start with. Settling in to wherever it is that you need to be. Welcome to start in a chair on a floor or propped up on something. And just so you know, I have a bolster handy for at the end of class and you can use a rolled up towel or a pillow or a cushion that you have handy. And any other props that you need for your practice, of course. When you're ready, taking a breath in, exhaling that out soft and steady. Another few breaths just like that to settle you into your practice and start to leave behind your day, your week so far. And we get grounded into the place that our body touches the earth, even sinking into that a little deeper. You can even imagine growing roots down from the spine itself all the way down into the earth like a tree growing roots all the way down to get steady and stable. When you're ready, taking a breath in and sighing out on an exhale. Checking in and noticing here how you're feeling. Noticing what's on your mind. Noticing your physical body in the places that are familiar and the places that are unfamiliar. Softening any tension or any tightness that you can. Starting to notice your breath as it is. Steadying and smoothing the breath. And if you already know ocean breath, you can go ahead on those ocean exhales or even inhales if you like. Otherwise, I'm gonna teach two ocean exhales. So the first thing that we do is inhale, maybe in through the nose and exhale out through the mouth. So we get a sound as if we're fogging up a mirror or a plane of plate of glass or a window right in front of our face, like a sound. And this is a constriction of the back of the throat, the epiglottis. You might even notice that. We need to listen to that exhale all the way from the top down to the bottom of the breath and start to smooth that breath out. We'll keep that breath, but we're gonna bring our lips together so the breath gets, is still that long, steady exhale, but it's a little quieter now because we're breathing out through our nose. And it's about the level of sound that you can hear. And if somebody were about a meter or two meters away, they might be able to hear you, they might not, but really none of the rest of the room would. And it sounds like the waves coming in and out on the ocean shore, just those exhales. And if you have a ujjayi or ocean breath, 
um, practice for the inhale too, go ahead. But today I'm just gonna be focusing on those ocean exhales. You wanna keep that long, smooth exhale, but I want you to let go of about 10 or 15% of the effort you're putting into the breath. So it becomes more sustainable and a little softer. Allow the inhale to take care of itself as much air as you need to focus on those ocean exhales. And that's what we're gonna be working with today, those ocean exhales. If it doesn't work for you or doesn't feel comfortable for you in your body, no need to do it. And we're gonna to come to a seat, whatever that is, focusing on those ocean exhales, rooting down into where we're supported we're going to take that right hand out towards the side of us, bending from the elbow, palm up on the inhale, down on the exhale. And keep that ocean exhale all the way with that exhale movement, that downward movement. And that's probably going to slow down your movement. You can even imagine that you're pushing through molasses or honey. Mm -hmm. Nice. Option to stay here or option to start to move from the shoulder. Inhaling up, exhaling, that palm comes down. Easy joint, shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers and thumbs. And that add-on is taking those right fingertips over to the left, supported with that left hand on the floor to find length on that right side. Still those steady, long ocean exhales. Option to stay here. Option to take the right hand over and stay. Three breaths. If you need the support of your left hand, then take it. Even push into that to root the right hip. An option for the last two breaths is to hold that big or small beach ball overhead. Staying for that last breath now. And coming all the way up, allowing the hands to come down. Left palm turns up, inhaling from the elbow, up, exhaling down. Once again, focusing on those ocean exhales, moving as if through honey. Excellent place to stay right here. If you want to add on, then we're moving from that left shoulder. Joints are easy. And allow the movement to flow with that breath. Feel free to close your eyes and allow that ocean exhale to guide the movement. The option is to take those left fingertips over towards the right, using that right hand for support if you want. You can even push down through that right hand to ground the left hip so we find a little more length there on the left side. Always working with the breath. If you wanna add on more, Taking that arm overhead and staying. If you don't need the support of your right hand, option to take the right hand up to meet it, holding that beach ball, collarbones facing forward, and you've got another two breaths. Steady and smooth, ocean exhales. And then we're coming all the way up when you're ready. Seated cat and cow here. So we're gonna take the knees out in front of us. I'll turn around so you can see me. Feet are around about a hip distance. Hands in front of the shins. And on an inhale, we're gonna draw our ribs in towards our knees, getting extension in the spine. If you wiggle from side to side, you may find those sit bones um, underneath you, sitting right up on top of them. That's the inhale. On the exhale, belly in towards the spine. Curl the chin in and we're rolling onto the back of the pelvis somewhat. Inhaling, extension, 
Exhaling, flexion of the spine. In and out. Noticing the places that it feels familiar. Notice the places that it feels louder than others. And notice the places that feel easier. As big or as small a movement as you like. And the next time we come up, we'll stay. From here, coming into a twist, and if you've got crossed legs, you can cross that opposite leg in front if that's comfortable for you. On an inhale, drawing the arms all the way up, as wide as your shoulders are comfortable. And on the exhale, we're gonna to turn to the right, take those fingers down, inhaling up and going to the left. Flowing with your breath side to side. Being curious, noticing which side feels more comfortable for you. You can even take that gaze over the back shoulder if that feels okay in your neck. Next time we come to the right option to stay there for three breaths. Rooting into everywhere you're touching the earth. On an inhale, we lift on an exhale, maybe softening or deepening that twist, making sure that the left hip is rooted here. Staying to the last exhale when you're ready, inhaling up, going to the other side, pulsing or staying your choice. Every inhale, we lengthen every exhale, softening or deepening the twist, keeping that right hip drawn back, more or less one more breath here. And then we're coming all the way to center. Feet out in front of you. <clears throat> Excuse me, soles of the feet together. Knees wide and then we're sending those heels away. So we get a bit of a diamond shape in the legs here rather than bringing the heels all the way up to our seat. And then from here, you can take the flash of your seat away from you if you like. Tuck the belly in towards the spine, and with a long spine, hands on the knees, shins, thighs, feet, we're coming forward. Keep those collarbones wide so we've got that long spine. Fingers come to where they're comfortable, option to stay here. And you can wiggle and waggle through your hips if that's comfy for you. Or option, drawing that chin in, rounding and spider walking those fingers forward and out. And we're breathing into the back body here, the whole of the back of the ribs, through that lumbar spine, mid back, thoracic spine, upper spine, and drawing the chin in towards the chest, you can breathe into the back of the neck too. Two more breaths here. Mm-hmm. And if you want to, walking those fingers all the way over to one side, bringing the opposite hip back, breathing into that back side of the body. And then walking the fingers over to the other side, drawing that opposite hip back too. Breathing into all the places that feel tight, when you're ready, coming back to center, taking yourself all the way up to seated if you're not already there. And then we're going to come over onto hands and knees when you're ready. Doubling over your mat, padding your um, knees with a blanket, a folded towel, anything it is that you need to for it to be more um, comfortable for you. And take those hands are as, as wide under the shoulders as is comfortable for you. Knees underneath the hips, more or less. Toes tucked or untucked. And on an exhale, pushing into the back of your hands, drawing the belly in, back of the heart lifts, and your gaze is towards the top of the mat. Cat and cow. On an exhale, pushing into the foundation, tucking the belly in towards the spine and we round the back body, inhaling, dropping the belly down as we lift the gaze, lift those sit bones up. 
ocean exhale. So you're using that whole flexion of the spine for that entire sound of the exhale. Mm -hmm. Nicely done. Another few here. And then we're coming all the way back to center when you're ready. Extending that right leg out behind you. Toes to the floor. Any wrist issues here, you can always come down onto forearms, no big deal. But if we are in forearms, same thing. Our hips are facing the earth, belly's drawn in, the back of the shoulders are, back of the shoulder blades are domed slightly. With that heel down, we're gonna pulse forward and back, patting the left knee if you need to. Inhaling and exhaling, just waking up the back of the leg. Coming back to stability or pulsing your choice. On an inhale, lifting up through the right heel, about hip height, pushing through that heel. Exhaling, tapping down. So the only thing that is moving here is the right leg. Notice if your spine is moving here. And even if it means the heel doesn't come quite so high, keeping the trunk of the body stable and steady. Ocean exhales. Excellent place to stay. Well, the next time that heel comes up, it's staying. Keeping the pelvis level and the collarbones level. Option to lift through the left hand, extending out through the fingertips. Ocean exhales. Imagine somebody could rest a cup of tea on your lower back and it would be stable and steady. Finding length from heel to fingertips. Option to stay here, option to pulse. This is the inhale, exhale. Knee comes underneath you as the elbow, maybe they meet, that's the exhale. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, curling in, pushing into your hand and left knee. Inhaling and exhaling. Another three here, rest if you need to. And when you're ready, we're coming all the way back down. Cat and cow. Same thing, other side, extending the left leg out behind you, toes to the floor. Readjust your foundation if you need to and we're pulsing forward and back. Noticing what's happening in your hips and shoulders here, trying to keep them parallel to your mat, to the earth. Option to stay, option to, um, Stay in stillness or pulse. If you're staying in stillness, on an inhale, the left heel lifts, exhaling, taking it down. Noticing if there's any talking of the pelvis here, meaning if it's starting to twist to one side or the other. Even if it means the heel doesn't come up quite so far, keeping the pelvis stable. Option to stay here. Option to lift that left heel up and stay. Ocean exhales. If you've lost the breath, come back to the previous modification. If you're adding on, extending that right arm out. <clears throat> Lifting through that right armpit, through the left hip to keep everything stable. You've got three breaths and stable stability here. Stillness, stable stillness, that's what I mean. If you're adding on, this is the inhale and the exhale. Elbow and knee come in towards each other and we push into our foundation and flex through the spine. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, flex. You've got another three here. Stable and steady. Ocean exhales. 
One more. Coming all the way back down, cat and cow. We'll take a child's pose, knees out, toes together. Hips back towards heels here, maybe this is where you stay. We're coming down to forearms, stacked fists, stacked palms, a block under your head and just swaying from side to side. Come back to that ocean exhale here as if there was nothing else in the world you had to think about. Every exhale, deepen into your mat, softening your muscles. Letting go of any judgments, any inner dialogue. Allow those ocean exhales to soothe you. Another few breaths here. From here, we're going to stay in child's pose and add on from there. So hands out in front of you. On the inhale, we're going to lift up. Exhale down. Lifting and lowering. Noticing how that feels, supporting yourself with your hands. Option to stay here. Option to bring those hands back towards your knees and inhaling up a little more, maybe even bringing yourself all the way to vertical and exhaling down. Using your hands as support as you need to, starting to get into some core support here. Excellent place to stay. If you want to add on, on an inhale as you come up, you're going to come up onto the knees, circling the arms, and on an exhale, coming back to child's pose, hands supporting you. Inhaling and exhaling. If you don't need your hands to support you here, on that inhale, we're coming up. Exhaling, we're going to guide the hands back down behind us. Inhaling up exhaling down. So this is an add-on to cat and cow. So on an inhale, palms towards the top of your mat, even an extension in the spine here, and an exhale, we're rounding flexion. So this is a deeper cat and cow. Two more. Mm-hmm. And exhaling down. Taking your time, coming from side to side. Coming back to those ocean exhales. When you're ready, we're going to come all the way back onto hands and knees and we're taking that right foot forward. Give it a little help with your hands. And then the hands come to the thigh. We're coming all the way up. Now, if you need to pad your left knee, go ahead. Fixing your gaze at eye height will help with balance. And we're rocking forward and back with our pelvis. You can always adjust your foundation by taking that left knee back a little, or right foot forward, or out towards the side. And then we're coming to a place that it feels like we can be stable here, flexing and extending through the lower back to find a neutral place for the pelvis as well. Inhaling and exhaling here. Noticing where you feel it, rooting down to support, and then lifting from there. Option to stay here, option to lift those arms up as wide as you like to soften in through the shoulders. Softening through the joints or reaching through the fingers, your choice, but the collarbones are wide, shoulder blades drawn back towards each other softly and the front ribs are drawn in. 
Inhaling and exhaling. Option to stay here in stillness. Option on an inhale to open up through the chest, same extension. Flexion on an exhale, drawing the hands down, belly draws in towards the spine, and we round any amount. Inhaling and exhaling. Mm -hmm. Flexing through the spine. One more to go. Staying for the exhale. And then when you're ready, coming all the way back up, low lunge. Three breaths, option to soften the gaze or close the eyes. Rooting to rise. Finding the midline of the body and lifting through that, up through the crown of the head. Last breath here. Exhaling, hands down. And the right leg comes back. Cat and cow. And then when you're ready, left leg comes forward. Give it a little help when you need to. Pad the right knee, adjust any amount. And then up we come, hands on the thigh. Make your foundation work for you. And then when you're ready, forward and back. Coming to a place that works for you, you and your body. And then taking some um, pelvic tilts there and noticing a place that is in between either anterior and posterior tilt that feels neutral to you. And then from there, rooting down to rise. Steady breath, steady gaze, ocean exhales. If you're adding on, those arms can come up as if you're holding a beach ball above you. Wide or narrow, your choice. No right or wrong here. It's just, again, deciding to work with your body. If you want to add on with those thumbs spin behind you, on an inhale, lifting up, extension through the spine. On an exhale, belly comes in towards the spine and we tuck and round. Inhaling and exhaling, steady and smooth. Mm -hmm. As much or as little as feels good, another two here. Keeping that foundation underneath you as stable and steady as you can. Staying for the last exhale, and when you're ready, coming all the way back up to low lunge, three breaths, option to soften the gaze or close the eyes. Root down through your foundation to find lift up through the center line of your body. Steady breaths, ocean exhales, one more breath here. Open the eyes. Hands come to the thigh and to the inside of that leg. Right leg, or left leg, sorry, comes round and back. Cat and cow. And then from here, puppy dog's pose. You're gonna walk, unless you want child's pose, go ahead. Walk the knees back, toes tucked or untucked. Coming down onto forearms here. And then all the way down, widening those shoulders to ease. Belly draws into the spine and we're sitting back with the hips. You can stay here. You can bring the hands into prayer and draw them behind your head. Extension or flexion in the spine. Notice which feels best for you. Imagine dragging those elbows back a little. Ocean exhales. And if this is not comfortable for you, child's pose or any other. When you're ready, releasing, walking your hands back towards your knees, and we're gonna come all the way up in your own way.
Take a sip of water here. Mm -hmm. So, coming into balance a little. First of all, find your mountain, find your mountain pose. Hands towards your hips. Settle in, even out the hips somewhat, and then take the palms towards the front. Roll the shoulder blades softly towards each other. And here you are, mountain pose. Same thing when we were seated. We're down through your feet to lift up. Ocean exhales here. Find your breath. Beautiful. Now you've got those ocean exhales. We're going to take the hands to the hips. And all we're going to do from here is step the left foot forward. So we've got a little bit of space in between the feet. The wider those feet are, the more stable you're going to feel. And we need to fix your gaze somewhere in front of you. And this is a great place to stay. Adding on here, we're going to heel toe that left foot over towards the right any amount, and maybe it comes right in front of that right foot. And maybe you feel more stable with it off towards the left. No right and wrong here, you're choosing for yourself. Option to stay here with a narrower stance. We're starting to get a little wobbly. So fixing your gauge, you can always have a chair handy if you like, or support of a wall. Adding on, putting weight in the back foot. Draw the front foot to meet the back. So my back heel is just brushing the tip of my toes. And again, if you need to adjust this, the longer and wider the stance, the more stability you're going to have. So you get to choose. Ocean exhales. Get rid of any inner dialogue in your head. And on an inhale, if you're adding, we're going to take our weight in the front foot. Lifting up through the right heel. And on an exhale, option to rock back. Maybe the toes come up, even the ball of the foot. Inhaling and exhaling. Again, you can use support if you need it. Trying to keep the movement as steady and as fluid as possible. Rocking forward and back with your breath. Now keeping your hands to your hips narrows everything. You can take your arms out, that's gonna give you a little more support. Inhaling and exhaling. And if you really feel super stable here, then if you wanna uh, challenge yourself, you can simply soften your gaze, and start to close your eyes, forward and back. Mm -hmm. Two more, always resting if you need to, getting ready to strengthen with balance, nice. Hands come down to the hips, and then we'll step out that left leg, coming back to your comfortable mountain pose. Stepping the right foot forward, same thing, other side. Fixing your gaze, getting rid of any stories or judgments you've been telling yourself. Ocean exhale to soothe the nervous system. And an option to heel toe that right foot over towards the left, any amount, your choice. And an option to draw that heel back so it's brushing the tip of your left toes or at a distance that feels comfortable for you. And this is a lot here, just here. So if you're building strength and this is the place you want to be, then stay. If you're adding on with a fixed gaze and with that steady breath, on an inhale we're coming forward, 
Exhale, we're coming back. Inhaling and exhaling, lifting up through the ball of the foot or the heel as we're coming forward. Allow it to be organic in your body and allow there to be places that are challenging. Stop judging yourself for having places that feel less stable than others. And just know that every time you do this, it's helping. Adding the arms out if you'd like a little more stability. First finger and thumb towards each other, that mudra of focus, if that feels comfortable for you. Mm -hmm. Two more. Ocean, exhale. And then the next time you come back into the left foot, hands to your hips, and we're going to step to the side. Bend through the knees, hula hoop through the hips, and then back in the opposite direction. We're going to add on coming into tree pose. So, mountain pose to start with, but hands on hips, fixing your gaze, settling your breath, settling the inner dialogue. Root into the left foot, lift the right heel when you're ready. Hips facing forward like those headlights, just like when we were down on the floor with extended one arm and one leg. Option to take that right knee out towards the side, keeping the ball of the foot on the floor, hips facing forward once again, not shifting. You can stay here, and this is challenging enough. If you want to add on, the right heel comes on top of the left foot. Inside the ankle, toes still to the floor. Inside the shin, pressing the left leg into the sole of the right foot or upper leg, just not the knee joint. And again, if the right leg is lifted, that left leg is um, connecting into the sole of the right foot and imagine your hips here imagine that um, both hips are drawing in towards each other and that's going to give you more stability so the inner thighs drawing uh, the left inner thigh drawing into that foot or the shin but imagine that that is coming all the way up from your hips to give you stability we're down through your standing leg Option to stay here, option to have your hands in towards each other, option to take the arms out any height. You can even connect the arms, um, the hands above you. You've got three breaths here. Ocean exhales. Allow that ocean exhale to still the inner dialogue. Listen to the breath. More or less, one more breath here. Stay to the end of the exhale. Release the hands to the hips when you're ready. And the foot comes down. Swaying from side to side. Any softness you need, go ahead and do that. Coming back to your mountain pose, hands on your hips. Bending the left knee, lifting the right left heel. Taking the left knee out towards the side while the hips face forward. Steady breath, steady gaze. Heel on top of the right foot, connecting downwards. Inner foot to the inner ankle, toes to the earth. Inner shin, that right sh shin is pushing fiercely in towards the left foot or upper leg. Just not the knee joint. And if the foot is connected into the shin or leg, that right leg is pushing just as fiercely back. In fact, imagine it coming from the hips, drawing in and upwards, rooting down through the right foot. Hands on the hips, steady breath, steady gaze, hands into heart center. Option to take those arms up overhead. First finger and thumbs, mudra or focus, your choice. You can even take the hands up above you, connecting together. You've got three breaths here. 
hips are drawing in towards each other and up. Any wobbles, any coming out, just come right back in. It's a practice, it's not a perfect. More or less, one more breath. Stay for the exhale, hands come down, and the feet come down. Swaying from side to side like you've got a coat on which is about 10 times too big for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit of that together. So, coming towards the top of your mat, hands to the hips, steady breath, steady gaze. From here, rooting in through the right foot, lifting the left heel, and stepping that left leg all the way back, warrior one. So the wider your stance and the longer your stance, the um, more, the, lifting up through the left heel, and on an exhale, stepping that left leg all the way back, warrior one. So that left foot is turned in about 45 degrees, the heel is out, right foot facing forward, and you're going to be bending and flexing in through that knee. Next time you come down, we'll stay and square up the shoulders. And that might mean you need to adjust the back heel so it accommodates for your hip and knee and ankle joint. Both shoulders square towards the front of your mat, hands and the hips. Just like when we're in the low lunge, doing some pelvic tilt and coming to a place to accommodate your body. Front ribs drawn in. On an inhale, straightening the front leg, up we come, exhaling, sinking. If you want to add the arms, on an inhale, up we come, we've got that beach ball above us, as big or as small as you like. Exhale, hands come shoulder height, thumbs to the sky. Inhaling and exhaling. If you want to add on into that extension and flexion of the spine, on an inhale as we come up, lifting up through the heart. On an exhale as we sink, belly comes in towards the spine, chin down and we round. Hands can come back any amount. Inhaling, extension, exhaling, flexion. Keeping those ocean exhales on that exhale all the way down to the end of the movement, the end of the breath. Another three. Pushing down through both feet, so don't let that back leg get light, pushing through the entire foot. Last one here. Inhaling all the way up, bending through the right knee, warrior one. And once again, pushing through both feet, especially through all areas of the feet so you get connected and solid from the ground up and you reach from there. Ocean exhales, last breath. Hands come to the hips, looking forward, lifting the back heel, push off and come forward. Hula hooping through the hips, anything that feels good here. And then we're coming to the other side. So, settling back into the breath. Settling back into the gaze. Root into the left leg, lift through the right heel. Exhale, take it all the way back, warrior one and set yourself up for success here. As wide or as long as you want the stance, back toes turned in. Straightening and bending into the left knee to get used to the movement, to get used to the foundation, changing things up, giving yourself options. And the next time you come down, we stay. Pushing into both feet, we're drawing the right shoulder forward, the left shoulder back to square ourselves up. 
And if that means adjusting anything, can your foundation go ahead? Inhaling up, exhaling down, making sure that the pelvic tilt works for you. If you're adding, arms up on the inhale, exhaling, coming down shoulder height. Inhaling and exhaling. Controlled movement, controlled breath. If you're adding on on that inhale, we're extending up from the foundation, getting length all the way through the crown of the head, the fingertips. On an exhale, as we come down, belly in towards the spine, chin in towards the chest, and we're rounding, pushing fiercely into both feet. Inhaling, extension, exhaling, rounding. Working with those ocean exhales, Working with your body, not against it. Getting rid of inner dialogue. You've got three more. And get steady and sturdy from the ground up and find length from that last one. Inhale it all the way up. Option to exhale into that front knee, and here we are, warrior one, three breaths. Push into both feet equally. Find that connection to lift you up from there. Ocean exhales, one more breath. At the end of that exhale, hands come to the hips, lifting that back heel, pushing off and coming forward. Hula hooping through the hips and back in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Hand to belly, hand to heart, mountain pose, your hands connected, ocean exhales. If you feel stable and steady enough, soften your gaze or close your eyes. Come back to the deep connection of the breath. Soothe the nervous system. Steady the heart rate by easing into the breath. Stay for another couple of breaths. Beautifully done. And then when you're ready, we're coming back down to the earth. So from here, all the way down onto your back. And if you happen to have a bolster handy, then you can keep that close by. Otherwise, all the way down. Hey, yourself, I'm gonna come out of that sunlight a little bit, not that I want to, just so I can see you guys. I'm gonna turn around, actually. Coming all the way down, readjusting yourself. So you feel comfy, any softness you need underneath you, a pillow underneath your head if that's uncomfortable, then please take the time here. And we're going to bend that um, left knee in towards your belly, or right, let's do the right knee, seeing as I'm down on my back now. And then we're going to cross over the outer right ankle onto that left thigh. Then we're just pulsing here with that knee up and down. Notice what's happening in the hips. And stay where the knee can come out, but the pelvis doesn't tilt down in that direction. So we're keeping the pelvis neutral. Flexed foot and that right ankle. Nicely done. Coming in to thread the needle from here. Option to stay here if you're already feeling this in the right outer hip, then stay. Otherwise, we're drawing our hands through the hole and through the outside of the left foot. You can take hold of the thigh, the back of that left knee pit, or in front of the shin. Both feet are flexed if they're up off the floor to protect the knees. And we're breathing here. Inhaling and exhaling. Breathing into that right hip. Steady and smooth. And then from here, play with drawing your um, sacrum up off the floor and then reaching it down into the earth. So you're getting a little bit of that flexion and extension in the spine here too. 
Mm -hmm. And then from there, come to a neutral place. Release that grip and take the left foot to the floor. Now, if you've got any SI joint issues, you're going to release that foot, take the hips over towards the right and take those knees towards the left. If you've got no SI joint issues, then from wherever you are, you're gonna send that whole shape over towards the left and you've got that bolster there if you need to underneath the feet. I'm gonna come forward so you can see what I mean from a different angle. So we've got a figure four here and then I'm gonna take that whole shape over towards the left side. I've got a bolster there to rest on if I need to, or if I don't need it, I can come all the way down to the floor, lifting the opposite hip, keeping the right shoulder grounded option to take the gaze over the right shoulder. Now this is a deep twist. So if it doesn't feel right for you, please take the support you need to, or Hips towards the right, knees over towards the left on that support. Right shoulder is grounded. Gaze to the right and we're breathing steady and smooth here. Mm -hmm. Inhale and let go on that exhale. Nicely done. Now to get into that flexion and extension of the spine, the closer up those knees come towards you, the more you're going to get into the lower back and the further away those legs come, the higher up it comes. So after all that flexion and extension, notice what feels best for you in your body. You can stay here for as long as you like, wherever you are. Gaze comes to center when you're ready and up we come and then we're going to release that right leg any adjustments you need to make with your pelvis being to center go ahead and do that now and then the left knee comes on top of that right thigh figure four thread the needle here if this is enough for you then stay especially if that left hip is shifting as you wing that left knee out. Flexed foot to protect the knee. And if that right knee is coming up, you're giving yourself a little hug here in front of the shin, behind the knee pit, or taking hold of those thighs. Whatever it is that you need, but both feet are flexed if they're up off the floor, breathing into whatever sensation you have. If you need less sensation, do less. Push that, um, left leg away from you, that right thigh away from you. Inhaling and exhaling. It's up to you here how much or how little pressure you need. Option to stay. Or you can flex and extend a little through the spine, curling in, taking the sacrum up and down, noticing how that feels. And then Option to release, take the right foot down to the floor. Arms in a comfortable place for you. Now again, any SI joint issues, knees come towards each other, hips towards the left, knees towards the right, and supported. Otherwise, keeping that figure four, we're gonna take the whole shape over towards the right side. Option to keep it on support of a bolster or a block, a stack of books, anything you have handy or that foot comes all the way down to the floor. And this side is not as easy for me, so I'm gonna keep that support underneath that foot. Gaze to the opposite side if that shoulder is rooted. Take a big breath in here and exhale it out. And play with having that a little higher up to get into the lower back or a little bit further away from you if you want to get higher up the spine. Anything it is that you need here, please take it. Some nice long breaths. Stay 
stay here for as long as you like. You do not have to come out when I say you can enjoy what it is that feels good for you. Or we're coming all the way up, resetting our hips. Give yourself a little hug or anything else that feels good here. And if you have that support, option to take it under your thighs or your knees for relaxation. Anything you need here at all, a sip of water, an extra blanket, an eye pillow, turn the lights off. I'm going to come up to seated, but you stay exactly where you need to be for relaxation. Settling in now and allowing yourself this time to really release the whole practice. Take a big breath in. Exhale that breath like a sigh. Uh -huh. Three more of those. I'll take that breath in. Hold at the top. Soften the muscles. Inhale again when you're ready, holding right again at the top. Relax into it. When you're ready, taking another big full breath in, holding and releasing all. Releasing your breath, releasing the tension in your body, releasing your muscles. When your body sinks into that support underneath you, And we've released that ocean exhale, but you might still be able to hear the soft waves of breath coming in and out. No need to adjust or correct anything. There's no need to try and change anything. Anytime the mind draws away, bring it back to that soft ebb and flow of the breath, the waves of breath, the sound of breath. Staying here for as long as you like. Tuning me out if you prefer a longer relaxation. Just allow the sound of my voice to wash over you. Or starting to simply notice where your body is resting. All the surfaces underneath you. starting to take more mindful breaths in and out in your own time. A 
allow those mindful breaths to guide gentle movements as you start to awaken once more in your body whether that's small lazy movements whether you feel like stretching wide or giving yourself a hug anything at all that feels good for you be generous with yourself as you come up to a place where you would like to finish your practice and maybe you want to stay lying down there's no right and wrong here you don't have to be in a particular place to finish Hands come into a gesture that feels right for you today. And take a big breath in, just simply for taking the time today to be here to move. Exhale, chin down towards your chest. And take a little gratitude here, a little few breaths of gratitude for your body for moving in its way today and for giving yourself permission to change things up to move in your own way. I thank you for being here. Namaste.